Ricky, you must be looking forward to taking on Gloucester back in the Premiership in front of what will hopefully be a very large crowd at Adams Park this weekend. Yes, definitely. You know, um, it's it's good to get back into the Premiership. You know, it's a, it's the competition we're really focusing on now. Um, you know, and to have three home games, I think it is uh, on the trot. Um, is going to be exciting for us, you know, because it's it's a fantastic crowd there when you know when we sell it out, and um, no, we're really looking forward to it. It's been a bit of a stop-start season for you, hasn't it? You've been dogged by injuries. You've only been back a few weeks. How far are you off rediscovering your top form? Do you think? Yeah, I mean, um, not far, hopefully. Yeah, you know, um, I'm just I'm just starting to. You know, get my fitness back now, and um, it, it's good to be able to get some games under my belt. You know, because as I said, you know, um, I've been been out with a calf injury that put me out for eight weeks. Then I was down, you know, with with the flu, you know, for two weeks, bedridden. You know, lost five kgs. So to, um, you know, it's been it's been been difficult time, you know, to, to try and get that weight back on and get my fitness back up. But um, no, I've been training really hard. I've been in with uh, the England camp over the last couple of weeks, and it's uh, it's been going well. You were certainly at the heart of the action against uh, Ospreys last weekend. It was a pretty entertaining game. And their midfield looked uh, looked pretty dangerous, didn't they? One of their centres got man of the match, Tom Isaacs. Yeah, they, um, a couple of young guys, yeah, they played really well. Um, you know, for me, you know, personally, it was, uh, it, it was nice to get out there and, and um, you know, get, get that game time under my belt uh, and feel confident, um, you know, on the field again. And, um, you know, this week, yeah, you know, it, it, it's another match against Gloucester, and it's a huge match for us. And so, um, you know, in terms of you know, getting out there and having that confidence going into this game, you know, I'm after consistency. So that's what I'm looking at. That seems to be the buzzword, doesn't it? it we've struggled for consistency in long parts of the season. It was win, lose, win, lose, win, lose for several months, and we had six or seven wins on the trot, and we seem to be back to win, lose, win, lose again. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, that's that's. Um, that's our main focus at the moment, you know, especially going into the, the Guinness Premiership uh, competition again, where you know we're, there's, there's a few teams sitting around the middle of the table, and and um, you know we get we get the points out of these next few games that could take us into the top four, and you know we'll, we'll be in a good position to stay there. And good performances from yourself, Joe Simpson, and Joe Worsley, could see you back in the white shirt, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, as I said, you know, the competition's healthy in the England in England camp, and you know, we want to be putting as much pressure on the starting guys um, a, 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 as much as we can. You know, because <clears throat> that's how we're going to um, get looking in in, in in the team. Um, but you know, the uh, the coaches, you know, trust me, you know, um, that I can go out there um, in, in the England shirt and, and and do a job. You know, if, if someone does go down, or if I do get my opportunity. But the more immediate uh, requirement is a win on Sunday, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Gloss is going to be a huge game for us, and um, you know, to get an amazing crowd uh, down there for uh, for Sunday evening will, will be fantastic to uh, cheer us on.